we previously learned how to add elements and created the header of our website. Now, let's see how we can move elements around and position them freely. In this lesson, we will be building the hero section of our website. We'll start by adding a row element. We can click on the icon from the elements panel, or we can drag and drop it in the desired position. In our case, we'll drop it below the header section. Let's do the same for the rest of the elements. First, we'll add an image element. Notice that we can choose where it should be positioned inside the container. We'll choose to center it. Next, we'll add a heading to its left. Below the heading, we'll place a text element. If you check the tree view, you'll notice that the text elements were wrapped inside a container with flex direction column. This happens automatically when you position elements inside flex containers. Finally, we can add a button below the text. We'll continue with styling the image. Open the Asset Manager and go to the Unsplash tab. We'll search for a nice photo and set it on the image element. We want to make the image more visible, so we'll set its width to 500 pixels. And we'll also rotate it using the Advanced Inspector. We'll add a new Transform property and rotate minus 10 degrees. Next up, we'll style the text elements. We've already defined text styles for headings in our design language, and it's time we use them. We can link the text style headline 1 from the visual inspector. On the button, we'll link the button text style, and we'll set our primary color, purple, as a background color, white for text color, and bigger padding. We'll make some styling on the layout, as we did for the header until we get the desired look. Now, the only thing left to do is to add these fancy circles. We'll add the images that we already have in the Asset Manager. Select them all, and set the position to Freestyle. This will allow us to place them freely in relation to the parent element. And finally, We'll need to set the Z index of the elements that are overlapping with the circle so that they become visible. Simply select the image and the header and click the plus sign in the Z index section. And we're done. We have our heading and hero sections. In the next lesson, we'll learn how to reuse our elements and customize them dynamically by using components.